One of my biggest pet peeves is when people say it's going to be minus 40 in Toronto. Guess what? It's never been minus 40 in Toronto in terms of temperature. Temperature and wind chill are not the same thing. Stop using them interchangeably. Now, the coldest we've ever gotten down to is about minus 31 here in Toronto, and we have seen wind chill that have been into the minus mid 40s. But again, two different things. But what is wind chill and how does it work? Do you know that I'm standing here? The wind is pretty light and there's actually a little bubble of warmer air that is forming due to the heat that's coming in off of my skin. Well, when the wind blows and it blows stronger, it moves that bubble off of your body. Your body no longer has that little protective barrier and you can get a lot colder a lot faster and your body temperature can start to drop. You can start to see frostbite forming on your exposed skin. And again, that's what wind chill, the true measurement of it is geared toward anything that is exposed skin. So if you're wearing a nice big puffy jacket, that warm layer doesn't necessarily get swept away when that wind picks up. But if you're out in the extremes and you don't have protection, that's when that wind chill really takes hold and your body temperature can drop rapidly. Hypothermia can set in in addition to frostbite. That's a little bit on how wind chill works.